Your employee is accused of stealing from a client. Steve here with the Janitorial Store, the channel where we help cleaning business owners scale their businesses with systems, tools, and resources. You know, if you've been in business any length of time, uh, this will probably going to happen. You're probably going to get that phone call where a client's uh, accusing you that your employee had stole something from them. Uh, it could be money, it could be a, you know, a, an iPad, a phone, uh, whatever. But the, phone's, the, the call's going to come eventually. Um, and you know, the thing is, is that uh, the first time this happens to you, it's, it's kind of devastating. It's kind of like, well, geez, you know, how do I handle this? Um, but you know, there's a, a lot of times, I've been, I've been in the industry 34 years now, and uh, over the years what I've found out is that it's not always the cleaner that, uh, that has sticky fingers uh, or being dishonest. Um, so that's the first thing I think, uh, that's the advice I have to give you first is that it's not always the cleaner, uh, which you probably already knew this, but uh, we have to look at all, uh, all parties. So the very first thing we got to do is that we got to we got to gather all the information. Uh, so your clients called you. You're going to ask your client a lot of questions to find out uh, as much as you can about the incident, uh, where it happened, when it happened, what was missing, uh, you know, and you know who's accusing who, and, and so on and so forth. You know, and uh, that's all you can really do is you can just tell your client after you've got that information is that you're you're going to continue to investigate it. Obviously, you're going to talk to your cleaner, and. Uh, ask if they've seen anything or if they know anything about it uh, and uh, you know kind of feel, feel them out to see see what was going on. Uh, the other thing you want to do too is you want to ask your client if they can review any of the cameras. Hopefully they had a camera system in their, in their building um, because that makes uh, makes life a lot easier uh, just by reviewing the camera system and finding out that oh wait a minute it wasn't us uh, you know and so on and so forth. Um, the other thing you can do too is uh, check the security alarm uh, uh, clock in and clock out uh, times because that will help us determine who was in the building because in most cases uh, your security code will identify who you are as far as coming and, coming and going of the building. And that's very important you know, because we have to establish who was there uh, during this day and time uh, to, to question everybody that, that was... Uh, uh, a possible suspect. So, so that, those are the things that you got to do. And then, uh, you know, if the item, uh, if the item was an electronic item, uh, maybe like a laptop or a, or a, a tablet or something like that, there, um, and it's and it was new. Uh, some things that you can do is that you can always uh, you can always check or you know get a receipt and get the uh, the, the registration number or, or numbers. Uh, 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 of the of the device, and I'm not sure if you can actually track that once somebody were to register the, the item. Uh, let's say it is a, a, a an iPad or something like that, and a person is a brand new one in the box, and a person stole it, and they go to go ahead and activate it. Well, I would think that that would go ahead and tell you who the person was that activated the device, and so on and so forth, and then obviously identify who our crook is. Um, so that's something you definitely want to check into, uh, see if that's uh, see if that's possible if it was a phone or some type of electronic device. Um, because if it was a used device, normally people have got their their locks on it, and either you got to uh, 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 be able to look at the device, or you have to have your fingerprint or something like that, sir, uh, something like that there, and it makes it very hard to get into these uh, electronic devices. So now something else you, that you can do is that. Uh, you you got to be able to base your decision on the information that you get, and you know the, there's been times in my company that yes, uh, my employee did steal from the from the client, and um, uh, one incident the the person they, they stole money, um, and uh, you know we actually uh, uh, you know, caught the person doing it, and uh, they were terminated and they were arrested, uh, and and so on and so forth. Uh, we kept the the account because I worked with the client to to, to get the person that uh, that did this. Uh, we had another incident where a person did this. They they stole some money from a client. and We lost that account. Now you know uh, it is what it is. You know, there's not a whole lot you can do. And 
no matter how well you screen somebody by doing background checks and, and so on and so forth, uh, you can still have some bad apples slip through the cracks. And, uh, you know, and the thing is, is that you don't know everybody's situation. You know, somebody could be going through hard times where they, where they desperately need this and they're just backed into a corner to where they, they had to do it. Still doesn't give them any reason to do it, but you know, it just helps you understand that you know it's too bad that people have to go that low to do that. But anyway, you have to base your decision on the information that you get. So you may do nothing. Uh, you may tell the client that you're not going to do nothing because there's not enough evidence to, or proof to show that 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 your person actually stole it. Uh, so there's not much you can do about it. Uh, and in most cases, you know your uh, your insurance doesn't cover it unless there's a, a conviction. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind. Check with your insurance agent to find out exactly what, what it says about your insurance uh, policy for, uh, for anything that's been stolen. Uh, like I say, generally you have to have a conviction in order for it to pay out. Uh, in other cases, like I say, uh, you may have to decide to terminate that employee. You know, again, it's, it is what it is. You, you write them up, you terminate, terminate them, you go through the process the right way. Um, you know, and uh, in some cases, you know, if, it, if it's just a, you really don't know what to do, then talk to a client and ask for their advice. Because one thing I've found out over the years, of, of, I've had hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of clients, um, that, you know, if you build a strong relationship with that client, you can get through things like this here. So... Uh, always keep that in mind. Now, one thing that you definitely have to have is you've got to have a system in place for when this happens. So, um, you know, if you're looking for a system for uh, for this, uh, you can go to the janitorialstore.com. Uh, uh, we have an SOP for janitorial business owners. Uh, where it's got hundreds and hundreds of documents in there uh, that will cover uh, you know, all these different systems that you need. But... Uh, Definitely, that's what you got to do. Is you got to have a system in place so you so you know exactly how to handle this, and so anybody on your team could handle this if it were to come up. So, well, hopefully you found uh, some value from this video, and if you did, go ahead and uh, leave a comment. And uh, if you have not already, make sure that you subscribe and uh, turn on that bell notification to get the latest updates of new videos uh, to help you grow your cleaning business. So, till next time, thanks, and uh, keep it clean out there.